Hello beloved people, once again I welcome you onto this channel Proly Word Ministries. Today I want us to look at an interesting topic which is titled God doesn't give answers to prayers. Do you really know that? Without wasting much time, let's dive into the word of God. But before then, let's look at these two vital points, which is number one we must understand that our lives are lacking to mathematical questions that needs to be solved number two that whenever we pray god doesn't give us answers rather he shows us the answers and gives us formulas in order to unlock the answers shown unto us without wasting my time let's progress into the teachings of today today we are looking at today our teaching will be based on a man called abraham our father in genesis chapter 11 verse 27 29 and 30 bible says now these are the generation of terror terror begat abraham now and haran and Haran begat lot and abraham and now took them wives the name of abraham's wife was sarai and the name of now wife Milka and the daughter of Haran the father of Milka the and the father of Iska but Sarai was barren she had no child that is to say Nahor's wife also had conceived and bare Nahor a child but that of Abraham she did not so one of the prayer that Abraham may have been praying then was God I need a child God I need a child but because the ways of God are not our ways because God knows the best for us he, he knows that Abraham will be the one to give birth to the covenant child he wants to lay the foundation for this covenant child so as Abraham may have been praying that God I need a child God showed him an answer I want us to look at the answer God shown unto the man called Abraham and what he did and to in order to assess the answer shown unto him so the first answer that God shown unto the man called Abraham is in Genesis chapter 12 verse 2 to 3 Bible says and I will make of thee a great nation and I will bless thee and make thy name great and thou shalt be a blessing and I will bless them that bless thee and curse him that curse thee and in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed so that is the answer that God has shown unto the man called Abraham but he did not give that's what I want us to look at God did not give the answer to the man called Abraham the only thing that he did is that he has shown the answer he has shown the answer to the man called Abraham and and give him a formula in order to assess the answer by himself so one thing that we must know is that on the prayer altar it is only two things that happen answers are shown and formulas are given in in order to assess the answer that are shown to us by ourselves so let us look at the formula that God has given to Abraham in order to assess the answer shown to him by God so the first formula that God has given to the man called Abraham it is the formula of get the out in Genesis chapter 12 verse 1 Bible says and the Lord had said unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee. Unto the land that I will show thee. 
So until you and I engage the formula given to us by God, we are not qualified to assess the answer shown to us. Until we engage the formula given to us by God, we are not qualified to assess the answer shown to us. And don't forget, you can have the formula that God has given you, but without engaging the formula, you can have a formula of a particular question. But if you do not engage the formula, there is no way that you and I, we will be able to get the answer thereof. So the engagement of the formula given to us is what ushers us into that answer that has been shown to us. Praise the Lord. So let us see the reality of the answer that, that God has shown. God has shown to the man called Abraham after engaging the formula given to him. So in Genesis chapter 20, the verse 8, 15 and 16, let's see what the Bible says. Bible says, Therefore Abimelech rose early in the morning and called all his servants and told all these things in their ears and the men were so afraid and abimelech said behold my land is before thee do where it pleased it pleased thee do where it pleased thee and unto sarai he said behold i have given thy brother a thousand pieces of silver behold he is to thee a covering of the eye unto all that are with thee and with all other thus she was reproved so this is the fulfillment of the answer in genesis chapter 12 verse 2 to 3 that he said he shall make him great he shall make his name great and he shall bless him. The second answer that God has shown to the man called Abraham is in Genesis chapter 17, the verse 9. Bible says, And God said unto Abraham, Thou shalt keep my covenant, therefore thou and thy seed after thee in their generation. At that time, Abraham wasn't having a child. He wasn't having any seed. But God has shown him that very soon you will have a seed. And your, you and your seed shall have a particular covenant with me but before you have the seed this is what you must do in order to have the seed yourself not me giving you the seed so the second formula that god has given to the man called abraham is what the formula of circumcision so that is the formula that abraham must engage in order to have access to the seed or to the answer that god has shown him so let's see the reality of the answer that god showed him after he engaged the formula of circumcision genesis chapter 21 the verse 1 to 3 bible says and the lord visited sarah as he had said and the lord did unto sarah as he had spoken for sarah conceived and bare abraham a son in his old age and 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 abraham called the name of the of his son that was born unto him whom sarah bare to him isaac so that is the answer that is the reality of the answer that god shown to the man called abraham in genesis chapter 17 the verse 9. so i want us to look at the the last formula given to abraham which sometimes god will never show you the answer but as you engage the formula that he has given to you 
there you have the assets so i name it the formula of temptation which is sacrifice thy son the last formula that god has given to the man called abraham is sought the formula of temptation which is sacrifice thy son so in genesis chapter 22 verse 1 to 2 bible says and it came to pass after these things that god did tempt abraham and said unto him abraham and he said he before behold and he said behold here i am and he said take now thy son thy only son isaac whom thou lovest and get thee into the land of morah and offer him therefore for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains which i will tell thee of that is to say at that time god has not shown him the mountain but i said take thy son isaac and go and sacrifice on a mountain in which i will show thee so let's see after abraham did that let's see what god has done the reality of the answer shown to abraham so in genesis chapter 22 16 and 18 bible says and said by myself have i sworn says the law for behold thou hast done this thing and has not withheld withheld thy son therefore oh, thy son thy only son that in blessing i will bless thee and in multiplying i will multiply thy seed as the stars of heaven and as the sun which is upon the sea shore and thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemy and in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed because thou hast obeyed my voice so that is the reality that is the reality of the answer that is embedded in the formula given to Abraham which is the covenant the, the, the formula of temptation which is thy son sacrifice thy son so whatsoever that you pray on the prayer altar what am I trying to say let us have this understanding that anytime we pray God never gives us answers but whatever God does is that when we pray he shows us answers and gives us formulas in order to arrive at the answer given to us so any prayer that you pray you can be a prayer warrior but if you do not engage the formula given to you there is no way you can access so in conclusion no matter what you are passing through until you abide by the formula given to you by God you can't arrive at the answer shown to you in your prayers so that is why I said earlier on that God doesn't give answers to our prayers but as we engage the formulas given to us by our God then you are qualified then you as you engage it wisely then you are qualified to have access to the answers that are shown to you sometimes the answer may not be shown to you but as you engage the formula the most important thing is that engaging the formula given to you by God and what is that formula the formula given to you by God is the instructions that you receive on the prayer altar so every area of our lives that is why I say our lives are lacking to mathematical questions that needs to be solved so every area of our life every aspect of our lives we have we, we need to engage the 
formula in order to access the things that God has prepared for us on the prayer altar. So, beloved people, this is what I want us to take. I want us to take note of the formula when you pray. You have you have four minutes to engage when you pray. My prayer is that from henceforth you will not be on the prayer altar praying without assessing the formulas given to you, praying thereby expecting answers from God. But you will engage every formula given to you by God in the name of Jesus Christ. And at the end, whatsoever you have prayed about, the answer will be in your hands in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Beloved people, this is probably Word Ministries. If you are new here, please do not forget to subscribe. Hit the notification button so that you will be notified anytime we upload our messages. And do not forget to share this message to your loved ones. God richly bless you for making it a time to watch us on this channel. Shalom.